Hi friends! I am going to answer one of the burning questions I know most of you have, which is, is powdered milk disgusting? According to the opinion of others, I already know it's disgusting, but growing up in a church that has a strong focus on emergency preparedness, I always dreaded the day where I would be forced to drink powdered milk. So today, I'm going to drink it not by force, but because I wanna know what I'm getting myself into if I am forced to drink it and whether I should just drink water instead or hot cocoa mix for my dairy intake. Okay, stop doing that. This was the last powdered milk they had at the store, and at first I wasn't sure if I was buying baby formula or not, but no, it's actually milk. It says to add four tablespoons of powder to one cup of warm water. I don't like my milk warm, so this is going badly already, but we'll see how Sabrina likes it. Okay, so we have to put four, four of those. Wait, 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 not, okay. You don't want it like, Keeping. All right. More like that. One. Can you do the other three? Mmm, it smells really good. Oh, no! <laughs> Don't worry, wipe it off. You can do Pandemic fun. Okay, carefully measure three more without making your mom wear it. That's too much. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more. Now what are we uh, gonna add? Give me the squeeze out the chocolate. I'm gonna have to vacuum in here. It looks like I have Parmesan cheese. my hair. And your shirt. Don't worry, we will wash it. I'm going to pour in the warm water. Yeah. Wow, it's leaking everywhere. It's going really well. Ooh. Look how chunky it is. I have chocolate syrup in case an emergency arises. To compare, this side is real milk delicious, non-disgusting milk. And this is the powdered. Powdered milk and makes milk too? Yep. And now for the sake of science, we're gonna have Sabrina try it because she doesn't have a bias already. It smells gross. No, no, it's really good. Drink it. Here. For science. No. Do it for science. No. You do it. No, she doesn't care about science. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Maybe if I were to pretend this is not milk but something else, I can make this more edible to myself. Now this isn't as bad as the time I drank the apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. That was much worse. Okay, this is not the most horrible thing I've ever had. And if we were to refrigerate it, it might taste better. And some people say to stretch your milk out, you can do half of the powdered milk mixture and half real milk. That might be something I would consider. Are we gonna... Okay, I'm actually gonna try that right now and see how horrible it is. So I'm gonna dump some of this out and then I'm gonna add about half real milk. And then I'll stir that up. And the real milk will make it cold. Some germs, hmm. some leak. That's not horrible. Okay, well, if the milk totally disappears from the shelves, we're gonna be okay. 
I'm surprised. I thought it would be worse. I, Sorry there was no gagging or vomit, everyone. I did my spoon. What a boring video. Jumped, did, did. No, you just do it like this. All right. Well, let's make it more delicious with some chocolate. I want to mix it. Okay, I'll let you mix it. Want to try? Look at us, we're preppers now. Now we just need to learn how to make cheese. And I don't think you can do, can you do that with dry milk? Probably not. If we were smart, we would have bought our own cow a long time ago. Careful, no. If the powdered milk is too disgusting for you, you can use it to make peanut butter Play-Doh. And we're gonna show you how to do that because not only are we bored, it's delicious. I forgot to tell you guys a story. Years ago, a guy at church was teaching a class about emergency preparation, and he said there was a door-to-door -door salesman. That better be a scammer calling. Anyway, he said a salesman knocked on his door who was selling emergency preparation stuff, and he claimed to have the best tasting powdered milk that tasted like real actual milk, and he had a sample of it in a thermos for people to try. And he said you know, there was a process that you had to do and it had to sit in the fridge for a certain number of hours before it tasted like real milk. And so he bought the milk from him, and then he realized later the guy had scammed him and he actually had real milk in the thermos. Turds. Turds everywhere. Okay, now for the fun part. I had powdered milk in my shoe. I couldn't find my husband's family's recipe, which calls for caro syrup, but here's one. It's just... Creamy peanut butter, powdered sugar, dried milk, and honey. It says half dried milk. I'm assuming it means half cup. Can I mix? Sure. Go wash your hands. Okay. Everyone's gonna wash their I'll hands. Just... That's about a cup, so you're gonna use the spoon to, to scrape it in there. Hey, there's peanut butter on it. Yep, so. So put this spoon in the cup and scoop it out. <laughs> but don't flip peanut butter on me. <laughs> but that would be really funny. <laughs> Baby, peanut butter is my mom. <laughs> yeah, you already dry milked me. <laughs> hey, don't eat the peanut butter. <laughs> Now I have to get a clean spoon. It's hard to measure. <laughs> now you're gonna do, this is a half cup. You're gonna do two of these. Stop eating the peanut butter and get to work. Okay, this is powdered sugar. You're gonna do two of these. Okay. Here, let me do a little bit more. I would have put. Wait, it. let me do it. Okay, lean over so you can see well. Wait, lean over. Lean over. Lean over more. Dig down. Give it a little shake. But don't shake it on your mom. There we go. Oh no! Let's add a teensy bit more. Alright. Oh, that was one too. 
and oh, now I need a measuring cup for, well, let's stir it up first. You just kind of add as much honey as for you honey. need. For honey, for honey. do about a quarter cup of honey for now. Uh-oh, I dribbled. experimentation and camera angles. As you see, this is quite doughy now. And it didn't really make that much. So I suppose next time I'll have to double it. I don't really want to double it today because I have some other plans for the peanut butter. Look, it looks like it's done. Yeah. Let me read the directions and see if it's supposed to be chilled or anything like that. Like orange Play-Doh, but it's really yeah. I stepped on powdered milk. The directions say you can use the Play-Doh immediately or you can form it into a ball and put it in the fridge in some saran wrap. Okay, now we're ready to play with the Play-Doh. Let me cut a piece off. Here, there's your section. Don't eat it. Now you gotta play with it. You gotta make something with it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a snowman. Do you wanna build a snowman? being in quarantine for too long. That's not a cat. I'm making pizza. I made a donut. See? Oh. I well, was trying to make toilet paper, but it looks like a donut. Look, Mom, I made pizza. Oh, yummy. I did a really good job making pizza. I made some pizza and I bit it. Oh man! <laughs> oh man! What does it look like? It looks like the skull! Yeah! Is it scary? Yeah! <laughs> I know what it is. What? A heart. Yeah. Is it because you love me? Yes. Ah, thank you. Mm. I love you too. No, I ate some of mine. What does it look like now? The taco. Yes! <laughs> Show them the taco. I made a taco. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want more pandemic Mom, fun. Mom, what does this look like? A ball. 
No, it's an orange. Oh, an orange. <laughs> I made an orange. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Your pandemics are so fun. <laughs> <laughs>